Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, feel free to write to me at walkwithtak at gmail.com if you have any questions regarding to this video or any other videos that I have posted in the past. If you have any videos that you would like me to make, uh, please let me know. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. The goal of my YouTube channel is to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routines, so you can cook every day and spend only about 30 minutes to prepare a meal from scratch using all fresh ingredients. This is important in the modern lifestyle because most people really do not have more than 30 minutes to prepare a meal from scratch. But using this cooking method, you can cook with all fresh ingredients. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use oyster sauce to season your dishes. Now, oyster sauce is probably one of the most versatile sauces to be used in stir frying. And one advantage of stir frying is that you can create many different flavors. Now, oyster sauce is extremely popular. In fact, uh, I use oyster so sauce so much, I purchase them in a can. And then I store oyster sauce in a squeeze bottle uh, because this will allow you to dispense them efficiently. And the best way is that uh, a flu uh, bite buying them in bulk, not only you can save money, but also it will allow you to better to store them. And I used to store them in a jar uh, when I purchased them as a can. But recently, uh, the manufacturer has changed the format. Now you can buy oyster sauce that comes in a jar. And this is a five pound jar. And usually it costs about somewhere between 10 to $15. It's much cheaper than if we buy them in a bottle. And besides, oyster sauce is very difficult to pour in a bottle. So when you buy them in a jar like this, you put it into a squeeze bottle, it makes it much easier. As you can see here, I put my most frequent sauces in squeeze bottles. It makes them much easier to dispense. And consequently, that you can make adjustment very quickly. So right there to give you an idea is that uh, when I use my sauces to season my dish, I do not actually measure them. And the reason for that, which is because the different seasoning actually will react differently to different type of uh, food ingredients. Some sauces uh, will taste stronger with certain food ingredients, whereas some other sauce will taste much less. And so because of this, it is better not to measure them, uh, rather uh, use it as an intuitive way and gradually you will learn uh, which ingredients will work better with a particular sauce. And so in this video, I would like to give you some tips how to use different types of sauces and what is the order for using the sauces when you start doing flavoring your dish. Now it turned out that uh, probably the most important sauce, which in my repertoire of sauces is oyster sauce. I call oyster sauce as the foundation sauce uh, because this is the sauce that provides the basic flavor for almost any dishes. Oyster sauce works very well with almost any type of food ingredients, all the way from meat to vegetable to eggs to fried rice. Almost anything that you're going to cook, you will find oyster sauce can make a contribution to enhance the flavor. And the reason is simple, because oyster sauce is basically a sauce that is to enhance the umami flavor of a dish. Oyster sauce is well known uh, for the presence of umami molecules in its ingredients. And so consequently, any time when you add oyster sauce, it will enhance the umami flavor. So the question you might ask is that what is the umami flavor? Well, it turned out that the umami flavor is a flavor that uh, usually that it enhances the savoriness of a food ingredients. When you add oyster sauce to any type of food ingredients, it will left a much more pleasant aftertaste. And consequently, so you can use oyster sauce in almost any type of food ingredients, whether it's meat or vegetable, egg or fried rice, or make oyster sauce to be a very effective way to just make them taste better. Now, this is where I want to advise you is that uh, to put the oyster sauce in a squeeze bottle. Because with this approach, uh, you can add different amount of the oyster sauce when you cook. And so consequently, you can start out with a little bit and then you gradually can add more and you do a taste test until you find the flavor that you would like. Now, quite often that different individual would like to have different amount of oyster sauce. And this is the reason why if you follow a recipe that they tell you to use a particular amount of oyster sauce, it might not work. Then ultimately, the goal is that to make home cooking spontaneous and intuitive. And one approach is that to be able to flavor your dish on the fly rather than follow a strict guideline. 
and the end result is that you will have much greater uh, likelihood to find the flavor that you would like. And this is the reason I call the strategy in my cooking system to be flavor chasing because you constantly improve the flavor of your dish. You constantly try to make ways to find it to taste better than you did last time. And each time when you do this, uh, you will remember. And uh, each time when you do this, you will find that uh, the amount of uh, sauces that you add, particularly with a squeeze bottle, you can actually judge very well of how much that you add. And if you can experience with different type of food ingredients, quickly you will find certain amount will work better than the others. For example, when you use oyster sauce, most of the time when you cook with vegetables, you probably do not need very much because vegetable already has uh, some pretty strong flavor. And also, uh, when you use different kind of vegetable combinations, some vegetable will react better to oyster sauce than the others. And because of this, it makes the dish far more interesting because of when you're using different kind of vegetables, you will create flavor contrast among different ingredients. Now, when you cook with meat, uh, you probably want to use a little bit more oyster sauce uh, because meat has a tendency uh, not as uh, strongly or individually flavored as the vegetables. So in this case, uh, chicken might use more oyster sauce uh, as compared to beef or compared to pork. All of this, again, that has a personal preference to it. But in general, when you do cook with meat, you want to use a little bit more oyster sauce than you cook with vegetables. Now, oyster sauce can be used with eggs, it can be used with fried rice, and there's uh, almost infinite possibilities that you can use oyster sauce to season your dish. And because of this reason, uh, oyster sauce is considered to be the foundation sauce. And this is why oyster sauce is so popular in uh, stir frying. Now, stir frying has one unique property. It's very different from other type of cooking. It's because stir fry cooks so quickly. And most of the time when you do stir frying, uh, you cook your food ingredient first until you cook it to the um, thinness that you want. Then you can shut down the stove or just turn it down. Uh, then in this case, you will start to do the seasoning. And this is the time when you do the flavor chasing. You start out with different amounts. Of course, once you gain experience, you know exactly how much to add and you just need to make some fine adjustment. Now, as I have mentioned, oyster sauce is the foundation sauce and it can be complemented by using other type of sauces. For example, hoisin sauce works very good with oyster sauce. Hoisin sauce has a sweetness to it and it will make the dish sweeter so it will have a savory and sweet flavor and which is very typical of a teriyaki a flavor. So you can create this kind of teriyaki flavor not only with meats like chicken or beef, but you can also create the same teriyaki flavor with vegetables such as broccoli, cauliflower, or with tofu. Now, once you start familiar with uh, using oyster sauce and hoisin sauce, then you can add other sauces. There are a lot of sauces that you can purchase that are already pre-made, such as the Panda Express has an orange sauce. Uh, you can have a teriyaki sauce, a sweet and hot sauce, um, or any other type of sauces that you already find uh, in the supermarket. And you can always buy them and try them out. So the end result is that you will find lots of possibilities to enhance the basic flavor. Now, personally, I use mainly oyster sauce because I think it worked great already. So I hope this video provides you with some indications of how to use oyster sauce and how to combine it with other type of sauces. In the future, I will provide you with more advice and uh, how to create certain type of flavor that is unique for a particular type of dish. So if you'd like to learn more about my fast cooking system, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. So keep on cooking and I will see you tomorrow.